hi guys and oh, welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here you are so much welcome yes do not forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for keeping it up here with alice emmy yeah so on today's topic not actually a topic but um as per the title how about we go for solo dates you know um most of us women we keep complaining um we keep worrying we get concerned about us why i mean us is because i'm also that kind of person like some of us you're from work to home you're from home to work uh the only people that are able to know you or to see you uh your workmates uh if not your workmates the people that you uh maybe when you bought a matatu you get my point yeah so some of us have prayed god give me a good man god give me this man god i need this kind of man but we are not going out there to for you're not going out there not uh, to attract them but you know for them to see us like for them to see you you <laughs> yes so i remember um for the longest time i have always prayed like some of us even go for overnight some of us even go to like you you're praying every day for for you to get the right person and also uh i know most of you feel you're ready to get married but you haven't gotten that person to even tell you uh how serious they are to even tell you they love you to even tell you one two three four you see that is basically because you're not out there like the kind of man that you're looking for is not going to find you in your house. The kind of man you're looking for is not going to find you at work. Okay, at work it's okay. If 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 you feel he's there, it's okay. But there are some women who are principled whereby for them they don't date their workmen. And let me tell you, I was one of them before. I'm just reminding you to go for solo dates. Like if you don't have if you you don't have a company, if you you can't go out with a friend, go for a solo date. Just go to a hotel, sit, take a cup of tea, go to a very nice hotel, dress nice, wear that makeup. Ah, look good, smell nice, Bana. <laughs> yeah, smell nice, look good. You know, you're looking for a man who is presentable, but you yourself are not presentable. How is he going to get attracted to you? How is he going to to notice you if you yourself you're not? If you can't eat a good, if you at, if you if you can't eat bad food, why do you expect someone to eat it? Yes. So if you're looking for someone who is presentable, if you're looking for someone who looks good, who like you have your karawat, you have your futures of which you're looking at. For this kind of man so what i'm going to tell you my sister is wake up leave wake up uh leave your comfort zone uh just try to go outside go outside we are tired of seeing you inside banner and then you complain i'm 30 i'm 25 i'm not getting married i am this i'm not getting married i i tried so much men can't see me no one is talking about me no one is even telling me they they, they like me no no one no one that is because you're your own problem that is because you're just in those you're like you're, you're in those and you and as some of you know i'm talking about the truth like you never go out like let's be realistic you never go out uh maybe 
the only time you're going out is to boda matatu and the only time you're going out is to buy nyanya and even when you're going to buy nyanya you're looking all you want yes the the only time you're going out is maybe you're stepping out for work so today i'm reminding you if you want that good man to see you or to notice you or if you want that good man to to know you exist you'll have to go outside you'll have to just go somewhere go for even if it's a trip from Mombasa solo that go uh, go for maybe for one one night go for two nights you, you, you see like you know like don't just be indoors. Don't just be indoors because the moment you keep being indoors, you still won't find someone. And let me tell you, you're going to pray, you're going to fast, but you won't get that person that you want. You'll end up getting people that are maybe are not of your standard, uh, but not because uh, that is how God has designed it, but because you're not out like you're not exposed. Let me use that. You're not exposed. Yeah. So on today's video, I'm just reminding my sister, someone out there, like ah, me inclusive, by the way, me, me inclusive. Let me tell you guys, I am not far from you. Um, personally, I think I have been someone who has always been like, if I leave work, I'm going home. On my off days, I'm normally indoors. Like, I leave uh, the next day, board a matatu, go to work. That has been my kind of life. But let me tell you, this time, this year, not this, this year is, yeah, it's still early. Yeah, I can still make it. This year, I am going, I'm taking myself to solo this. Like, and also, don't go out there with a the mindset of looking for a man. You won't find him. And, in, and then also the other thing that if you're going out there with um, a mentality that you, you're looking for someone, maybe you might even end up falling for the wrong person, thinking they're the right person. So much as you have gone outside there, don't uh, don't be so quick to to don't be so quick. How can I say? Don't be so quick to uh, give people chances. Take your time to know someone and uh, give them a chance when you feel they are the right people. But if they are not, please try as many solo dates as you can. Try to go outside. Like, if you can't, invite me. I'm here. Let's go for these solo dates. Yeah, so that was it for this video. I hope I've been able to speak to someone. And in my next video, like, I want you to leave a comment and tell me, if you're really going to take a step, if you are looking for this right person, they are waiting for you, but it's because you're stuck in those, they can't see you, they can't, they can't come to your doorstep. Of course you know that. See you in another video. Bye.